Good morning, Kansas, and thanks for kicking off your Wednesday with us. I'm Julia Thatcher. And I'm Eddie Randall, and this morning we're getting a first look at proposals for new congressional maps here in Kansas. New lines could change the state's political future with concerns. A Republican supermajority may be eyeing the state's only Democratic seat. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains. Well, those maps that were introduced here seem to vary. Right now, one concern is whether two of the most populated counties in the Kansas City metro area will remain intact. This is what really could decide whether the state's only Democratic representative, Sharice Davids, will keep her seat or whether Republicans will be the only party representing the state in Congress. New lines are being drawn with several maps on the table. In the House, two maps are almost identical, one from the League of Women Voters and the other from a Democratic representative from Kansas City. Both would keep two key districts together with the odds of securing re-election for the only Kansas Democrat in Congress. Sharice Davids representing the Kansas City area, which leans blue. We heard that. We don't want to see Wyandotte County in the first congressional district. Wyandotte and Johnson County should be kept together as close as possible by population. Now that Davids district has too many people in it, there are concerns of gerrymandering, Republicans having an incentive to set new lines and hurt Davids politically. One Republican drawn map references lines drawn in 2012 when the Supreme Court decided how to draw the lines after lawmakers ran into roadblocks making a final decision. The map separates Johnson and Wyandotte County. Another map introduced by Republicans takes out the northern half of Wyandotte County. Just all kinds of stuff that came into it and just thinking about it and knowing what are our rules and that we have to follow. A lot of it's population driven too. So, I mean, it, it, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Now, this week, lawmakers will be meeting again to start hearings on some of those final proposals. They do have a deadline to approve a map before the end of session, but in the end, the Supreme Court will have to sign off on those final maps. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.